بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين له النعمة وله الفضل وله الثناء الحسن صلوات الله البر الرحيم والملائكة المقربين على سيدنا محمد الصادق الوعد الأمين وعلى آله وصحبه الطيبين الطاهرين اللهم لا سهل إلا ما جعلته سهلا وأنت تجعل الحزن إذا شئت سهلا اللهم اجعل أعمالنا خالصة لوجهك الكريم With the name of Allah, I make this video. I praise him and thank him for the endowments that he gave with no obligation to give anything. And I ask Allah to raise the rank, honor, and prestige of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam. And I ask Allah to give us the sincere intentions and the proper comprehension. I've been asked several times on my Facebook page about the dua called istikhara. So I've had the intention for a while now to make a video to help people pronounce it properly. However, before we get started, a few things should be known. One, the knowledge is acquired through teachers. This video is not a replacement for a teacher. It's only a service for the one who needs this important supplication. One should go to a teacher to learn. You might use this video to practice and then go and read it on a teacher so that he can correct your pronunciation if need be. Two, what is more important than this supplication is the Fatiha and the Tashahud since they are needed for the validity of the prayer. One should busy himself with perfecting his recitation of the Fatiha before the Istikhara. And I hope to make a video to help people practice the Fatiha and the Tashahud. However, because I got so many requests and questions about the Istikhara, I made this video first. And insha'Allah ta'ala, it would be a widespread benefit. Please keep me in your supplications. This hadith is narrated from Jabir ibn Abdullah radiallahu anhu. Qala, kana rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yu'allimuna l-istikharata في الأمور كلها كما يعلمنا السورة من القرآن يقول إذا هم أحدكم بالأمر فليركع ركعتين من غير الفريضة ثم ليقل From the route of Jabir that the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم used to teach us the supplication for being guided to make a good decision, istikhara, for all of the different situations. Like he would teach us a surah of the Qur'an. He said, if someone is concerned about something, let him pray two rak'ahs that are not obligatory, and then say, اللهم إني أستخيرك بعلمك وأستقدرك بقدرتك وأسألك من فضلك العظيم فإنك تقدر ولا أقدر وتعلم ولا أعلم وأنت علام الغيوب اللهم إن كنت تعلم أن هذا الأمر خير لي في ديني ومعاشي وعاقبة أمري فقدره لي 
وَيَسِّرْهُ لِي ثُمَّ بَارِكْ لِي فِيهِ وَإِنْ كُنْتَ تَعْلَمُ أَنَّ هَذَا الْأَمْرُ شَرُّ لِي فِي دِينِي وَمَعَاشِي وَعَاقِبَةِ أَمْرِي فَاصْرِفْهُ عَنِّي وَاصْرِفْنِي عَنْهُ وَقُدُرْ لِي الْخَيْرَ حَيْثُ كَانْ ثُمَّ رَضِّنِي بِهِ We can look at the meaning of the dua later. But first let's practice pronunciation. This dua is a little bit long. As you can see, Jabir said the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to teach them al istikhara like he would teach them a surah from the Quran. And so we're going to go over this like learning a surah from the Quran. So we'll break it down and we'll look at some of the ways of pronouncing things, and we'll repeat few times. Insha'Allah Ta'ala And uh, we'll point out a few things And then we'll say the whole thing again Insha'Allah Ta'ala One time I'm going to Focus on the English Those of you who know how to read the Arabic Then you can read the Arabic But this is more of a service for people Who don't really know Arabic so well So, let's start. The dua is Allahumma inni astakhiruka bi'ilmik Allahumma inni astakhiruka bi'ilmik You can stop here. That's why the A is in Parentheses. If you want to continue, you would say, Allahumma inni astakhiruka bi'ilmika wa astakudiruka bi'kudratik. But in Arabic, you stop on a sukun. That is, you don't stop on a vowel. So we're going to say it like as if we were reciting a surah. As if, so we're going to say it like as if we were reciting a surah from the Quran. We'll stop on a sukun. Allahumma inni astakhiruka bi'ilmik Here you have these two M's You're going to pronounce it with a ghunnah This vibration from your nose If you want to put forth the rules of tajweed Like reciting a surah from the Quran Allahumma If a person just said Allahumma It's not haram and it's not invalid But it's more rewardable to apply the rules of tajweed Allahumma Inni Inni Stretch Inni astakhiruka bi'ilmik Whenever you see an underlined vowel, that means extend. Allahumma inni astakhiruka bi'ilmik. And this little carrot sign here is for the letter Ain. I, I. Here is Ain with Kasra. I. Allahumma inni astakhiruka. That's a calf. K. Not calf. Don't say k. K. Allahumma inni astakhiruka bi'ilmik. Wa astakudiruka bi'kudratik. Here. As. Taqdiruka. This S is for the Arabic letter Seen. Also the one above. Seen. And the Seen is just a sharp S. Has a whistle, in fact. 
wa astaqdiruka bi qudratik so it's not a mere english s don't say astaqdir say astaqdir allahumma inni astakhiruka bi ilmik wa astaqdiruka bi qudratik wa as ألوك من فضلك العظيم طيب وأستقدرك بقدرتك Here this Q is for the Arabic letter Qaf and you might notice that there's a vibrating sound or a sort of commotion or a noise that goes along with it that's called qalqalah wa astaqdiruka wa astaqdiruka if you don't say the qalqalah it's still valid if a person said wa astaqdiruka that's valid but it's not a kaf don't say astaqdiruka that's qaf wa astaqdiruka biqudratik also another qaf wa تقديرك بقدراتك اللهم إني أستخيرك بعلمك وأستقدرك بقدراتك وأسألك من فضلك العظيم وأسألك من فضلك العظيم. Also another one. وأسألك وأسألك من فضلك العظيم. Now the origin here is just to say من فضلك من فضلك نون أن Min fadlik, and the one who does that, the one who just says, Wa as'aluka min fadlik al azim, did not do anything forbidden or invalid. However, it's more rewardable to apply the rules of recitation of tajweed and to hide the noon and prepare the fat. And to make a ghunna from your nose. That ghunna from your nose is the evidence that there was a noon that you're hiding. And so, when I pronounce it now, I'm not going to say the noon. Min fadlik. All I did was prepare the next letter, which was the fa. Min fadlik. So you can say, wa as'aluka min fadlik. And it's better to say, if you can, وَأَسْأَلُكَ مِنْ فَضْلِكَ الْعَظِيمِ Now, this D with an underline is for the letter Baud. Baud. Baud is a thick letter. It comes from the side of your tongue. It's not a dal. Don't say Fadlik. Don't say Fadlik. That's a Baud. Fadlik. Min fadlik Wa as'aluka min fadlik al-azim Now there's only so much that I can do for you by way of a video. You need to sit with a teacher and let a teacher show you face to face how to pronounce things. وَأَسْأَلُكَ مِنْ فَضْلِكَ الْعَظِيمِ This DH underline is for the letter ذَا ذَا Which is also thick. وَأَسْأَلُكَ مِنْ فَضْلِكَ الْعَظِيمِ فَإِنَّكَ تَقْدِرِ I'm going to say the whole line. فَإِنَّكَ تَقْدِرُ وَلَا أَقْدِرُ فَإِنَّكَ تَقْدِرُ وَلَا أَقْدِرُ 
fa innaka taqdiru wa la aqdir so you have ghunna here on the nuns fa innaka that's a kaf ka not qa taqdir you have a qaf wa la aqdir extend the a fa innaka taqdiru wa la aqdir وَتَعْلَمُ وَلَا أَعْلَمْ Again, that little carrot sign is for the Arabic letter عَيْن وَتَعْلَمُ وَلَا أَعْلَمْ وَأَنْتَ عَلَّامُ الْغُيُوبِ وَأَنْتَ عَلَّامُ الْغُيُوبِ Here, I'm hiding the noon and preparing the ta. وَأَنْتَ I'm not pronouncing the noon. I'm hiding the noon totally. I'm not saying وَأَنْتَ by putting my tongue in the place of the noon. I'm not saying a noon. I'm totally hiding the noon. I'm not lifting my tongue to the place where the noon comes from. I'm just getting the ta ready. وَأَنْتَ 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 عَلَّامُ الْغُيُوبِ G-H is for the Arabic letter غَيْن وَأَنْتَ عَلَّامُ الْغُيُوبِ Now if a person just says وَأَنْتَ عَلَّامُ الْغُيُوبِ It's valid. And that B at the end, you hear the little sound I'm making, that's another قَلْقَلَهْ وَأَنْتَ عَلَّامُ الْغُيُوبِ أَلَّهُمَّ إِنْ كُنْتَ تَعْلَمُ أَنَّ هَذَا الْأَمْرُ Then the matter should be mentioned by name. So you can say, أَلَّهُمَّ إِن كُنْتَ تَعْلَمُ أَنَّ هَذَا or أَنَّ هَذَا الْأَمْرُ and then you say what it is that you are concerned about you name it here اللهم إن كنت تعلم أن هذا الأمر Khairulli. Here there's two L's. Khairulli. But the origin is that there's an N here. Khairun li. A noon. But the noon gets merged into the lamb. And so it becomes Khairulli. Allahumma in kunta ta'lam wa anna hadha al-amr khayrul li fi dini That's easy. Khayrul li fi dini خَيْرٌ لِي فِي دِينِي وَمَعَاشِي وَمَعَاشِي خَيْرٌ لِي فِي دِينِي وَمَعَاشِي وَعَاقِبَةِ أَمْرِي خَيْرٌ لِي فِي دِينِي وَمَعَاشِي وَعَاقِبَةِ أَمْرِي فَقُدُرْهُ لِي فَقُدُرْهُ لِي فَقُدُرْهُ لِي وَيَسِّرْهُ لِي ثُمَّ بَارِكْ لِي فِيهِ There's an H there. You want to pronounce it. ثُمَّ بَارِكْ 
Leafy. If someone said fihi, no, yeah, it's not. Don't say fihi. Just stop on the h. ثم بارك لي وإن كنت تعلم أن هذا الأمر then you stop oh, sorry then the matter should be mentioned by name. وَإِن كُنْتَ تَعْلَمُ أَنَّ هَذَا الْأَمْرُ Then the matter should be mentioned by name here. Sharuli fi dini wa maashi wa akibati amri. Sharuli double the ra. Sharu, sharu. Sharuli fi dini wa maashi wa aqibati amri fasrifu anni This S with an underline is a different S sound in Arabic. This one represents the Arabic letter Saad. Sod, and the sod is thicker than the seen. Seen, sod, seen, sod. What they have in common is that they both have a whistle sound, but seen is thinner and sod is thicker. And I don't have a perfect sod. So that's more of a reason for you to really sit with a teacher who has a proper pronunciation who can help you recite this in a good way. And for those who are doubtful about the whistle that exists in the scene or the sod, then know that you can easily find that documented in the books of Tajweed whenever those books talk about the attributes of the letters and if you listen to any of the proficient reciters, not everyone whose voice is recorded as a reciter on the internet is a proficient reciter. Some reciters even make mistakes on their uh, re recordings. Okay, um, So not everyone whose voice is recorded reciting a surah of the Qur'an and it's available on the internet means... He's a master reciter or anything like that. No, many of them make mistakes. A number of them make mistakes. Of course, many of them, if not most of them, recite properly. But there are a number of reciters who make mistakes. And the one who's learned well can detect those mistakes. But what I want to say is, if you hear the recording of a good reciter, and the recording is clear and crisp, you can easily detect his scene and his sod. Anyway, Fasrif Huani Wasrif Ni An Fasrif Hu Fasrif Hu Fas Rif who? Fas rif who anni? And don't stretch that who. A person might be inclined to say fas rif who anni? No. Fas rif who anni? It's short. Fas rif who anni? Was rif ni an? If you're going to stop, you're going to stop not on a vowel. So, wasrifni an. 
واصرف ني عنه وقدر لي الخير حيث كان وقدر لي الخير حيث كان وقدر وقدر لي الخير or you can say وقدر لي الخير وقدر لي الخير وقدر لي الخير حيث كان وقدر لي الخير حيث كان ثم رضني به Here this H with underline is for ha not ha ha وقدر لي الخير حيث كان وقدر لي الخير حيث كان ح حيث كان ثم رضني به there you have again the d underline that represents a bod and is doubled here ثم رضني به ثم رضني به now there's probably some people out here who are saying, no, this is wrong, this is, that's not the way istikhara goes, etc. So you should know that there are several versions, several narrations of istikhara narrated from the Prophet, alayhi salatu wassalam, such as, and you can use that. But this video is just for a person who's beginning. So, I'm just using one narration of several narrations that all can be used. Also, here, in kunta ta'lamu anna hadha al-amra khayrun li fi dini wa ma'ashi wa aqibati amri. There's also something else a person could say. He could say it in a different way. But that was omitted from here just to keep it easy. So here's one way to say the istikhara dua, and it's not the only way. So anyone who's listening to this and saying, no, this is not right, just with a small amount of effort, you can find this istikhara dua narrated with different wording, with some addition or some changes. What's here is correct. It's just a selection from other things that could be selected to make it easy for the one who wants to recite Dua al-Istikhara and is a beginner. So let me then, insha'Allah ta'ala, recite this one more time from the beginning. Allahumma inni astakhiruka bi'ilmik wa ast تقدرك بقدرتك وأسألك من فضلك العظيم The DH here for the is thick. It's not just the. It's the. The. وأسألك من فضلك العظيم فَإِنَّكَ تَقُدِرُ وَلَا أَقُدِرُ وَتَعْلَمُ وَلَا أَعْلَمُ وَأَنْتَ عَلَّامُ الْغُيُوبِ اللهم إن كنت تعلم أن هذا الأمر Then the matter should be mentioned by name خير لي في ديني ومعاشي وعاقبة أمري فقدره لي ويسره لي Here the S's are doubled 
ويسره لي ثم بارك لي فيه وإن كنت تعلم أن هذا الأمر then the matter should be mentioned by name شَرٌّ لِي فِي دِينِي وَمَعَاشِي وَعَاقِبَةِ أَمْرِي فَاصْرِفْهُ عَنِّي وَاصْرِفْنِي عَنْهُ وَقُدُرْ لِي الْخَيْرَ حَيْثُ كَانْ ثُمَّ رَضِّنِي بِهِ now I'm going to read this one more time without rules of Tajweed or I'll try because sometimes it's not easy to skip the rules of Tajweed just to make it a little bit easier for the one who feels desperate like he needs to say this dua and he can't get all of those rules. So I'll read it slow and I'll try to leave out the rules of Tajweed. Allahumma inni astakhiruka bi'ilmik wa astakdiruka bi'kudratik wa as'aluka min fadlika al-azim fa innaka taqdir fa innaka taqdir wa la aqdir وتعلم ولا أعلم وأنت علام الغيوب اللهم إن كنت تعلم أن هذا الأمر then the matter should be mentioned by name خير لي في ديني وَمَعَاشِي وَعَاقِبَةِ أَمْرِي فَاقْدُرْهُ لِي وَيَسِّرْهُ لِي ثُمَّ بَارِكْ لِي فِيهِ وَإِنْ كُنْتَ تَعْلَمُ أَنَّ هَذَا الْأَمْرِ Then the matter should be mentioned by name. شر لي في ديني ومعاشي وعاقبة أمري فاصرفه عني واصرفني عنه واقدر للخير حيث كان or واقدر لي الخير حيث كان but I suggest you pronounce with rules of Tajweed. And the meaning of the dua in general is, O oh Allah, I seek your guidance in making a choice by virtue of or because of your knowledge. And I seek ability by virtue of your power. And I ask you of your great generosity, for surely you have power to create, and I have none, and you know all, and I do not know, and you are the knower of the unseen. O oh Allah, if you eternally knew that this matter then it should be mentioned by name here. You're going to say it in Arabic, not in English. This is just the meaning, a general meaning. And the secret is to say it in Arabic the way the Prophet said it, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So if you eternally knew that this matter, and then you're going to name it, is good for me in my religion, my livelihood, and my fate, then ordain it for me, make it easy for me, then bless me in it. And if you eternally knew that this matter, and then you're going to mention it by name, is bad for me and my religion, my livelihood, and my fate, then turn it away from me 
and turn me away from it, and ordain for me the good, wherever it may be, and make me pleased with it. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik, ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant, astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Allah knows best, and He is most wise.